compassion and concern in Plymouth is giving a bald eagle a chance to recover at the University of Minnesota's Raptor Center. Struck by multiple cars, residents and a Plymouth community service officer helped come to the rescue. And as photojournalist Dustin Scholl shows us, that response improved this eagle's chances of soaring again. Yeah, I'm just gonna go up slowly and grab him. So a few weeks ago, we got a call about an eagle that had been hit by multiple cars that needed our help here at the Raptor Center. So in this case, it sounds like the public and law enforcement did a phenomenal job of securing the bird so it couldn't get hurt more, and then also making sure to get it in a container so it could come to us. Hi, sweetheart. I've always known they're ginormous. And when I pulled up, I could see how big she was. And I was like, all right, this is gonna be interesting. And thankfully, as I got closer, she didn't flinch or anything and she didn't wanna fly away. So that's when I really knew she needed our help. Great. Easy peasy. <laughs> the experience was just amazing. The Raptor Center is here to help ill and injured raptors. So owls, hawks, eagles, falcons, vultures, members of the community find that they're in trouble, they get them to us, uh, and we do everything we can to give them a second chance at getting back to the wild. So in our hospital, we want our patients to be wild. We like it when they don't want to be with us because these birds are ultimately going to go back out into the wild and be wild birds. This patient is the epitome of a big, bold, wild female eagle. We know there had been trauma on this bird, so it gets blood work, it got x-rays, it got fluids, uh, pain medication support immediately. She fortunately didn't have any broken bones, but she had a lot of internal trauma to her body, which we've been treating with rest and pain control and, and things like that. But everything's going in the right direction, and we're, we're very thrilled with how she's doing. This is one tough bald eagle, and we're so excited with how she's doing, and we're gonna be very excited to watch her fly away from us back to the wild. The Raptor Center must do a test flight with the eagle before it can be released back to the wild. It is possible the bird could be back out in nature in one to two weeks. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.